Good morning, it's day two and it's a sea day. So today I'm going to show you the breakfast buffet, lunch options, formal dinner tonight with lots of activity going on. We're also going to be heading to the Palladium, which is the theatre for quarter to 11 today, as they've got a remembrance service on as it's the 11th of November. So we're definitely gonna go and watch what they've got on in there. I probably won't film as obviously due to respect and stuff. It's not really, I'm not going to film. I'm going because I want to go. But just to let you know that that is something that we're gonna be doing today. And I just want to say that I slept so well last night even though it was really rocky and I did take some tablets oh it just really rocks you to sleep I sleep so well on a cruise ship it's probably my best night's sleep in a really long time to be honest but um yeah it's now time to get ready I'm gonna go to breakfast in the buffet which is Borough Market so I'll show you what options they've got there I've noticed that they're very good to catering for allergies and um vegans vegetarians you know, anyone with certain dietary requirements, they seem to have it covered. Sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, they are, they've, you know, they've done really well and they've definitely got options. So yeah, let's get ready and let's go and get breakfast. My voice has gone really funny. <laughs> I've literally just woke up. See you in a second. So as we come over to this first table, we have got smoked salmon, onion, capers, cream cheese and lemon wedges. And around this side we have meats and cheese. On this next table we have stewed prunes, dates, figs, fruit compote, grapefruit, watermelon and honeydew melon and then fruit yogurt, muesli and plain yogurt. I'll come back to this bit in a second, so not to get in someone's way, but there is more melon, honey, jams and marmalades, and then butter. And then back to this bit, which is cereals and different types of milk. Over to the bread table, we've got the same breads that were at yesterday's lunch. And then someone to do your toast. Then on this side of the table, we've got boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, sausage and bacon. And then on this side, we've got hot porridge, baked beans, mushrooms, grilled tomatoes and hash browns. Next is the omelette station, which is cooked to order and also fried eggs. At the vegan section, there is grilled tomatoes, baked beans, scrambled tofu and buttered mushrooms. And then a drink station. And then in the 100% vegan section, we have overnight oats, fruit compote, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, soya yogurt, chickpeas, figs, dates, quinoa, walnuts, almonds, vegan butter and vegan cheese. This is the pastry station, which is brioche rolls, chocolate croissants, Danish pastries, normal croissants and muffins. And lastly, we have the gluten-free bread. All the drinks I'm about to show you are included. We've got a posh juice station with orange, pineapple, vitamin juice and still water. And there's also a range of different teas, including fruit teas, herbal teas and decaf. And a coffee machine with lots of different types of coffee, hot chocolate and decaf options. Standard breakfast. going to show you all of the venues, activities and things you can do on a sea day on board Ambassador Ambition. I spent a couple of hours filming lots of the ship for these vlogs, so that's basically what I spent my morning doing on my sea day to show you. Starting with the outside spaces, there is a pool deck which has two swimming pools and two hot tubs, which would be great for the warmer weather, and there is a bar at either end so you don't have to go too far for a drink. Above the pool deck is the jogging track which has some great unobstructed views. On this same deck at the front of the ship is the splash pool and next to it is the giant chessboard. On the promenade deck on deck 6 there are some deck games and under cover on the pool deck you can find the table tennis, darts and table football. Moving inside there are a lot of bars and lounges to relax with a drink but these spaces were mostly being used for people to sit and read so some of this footage was taken at other points of the cruise so to not film people. 
Talking of reading, there is a library where you're able to borrow books and a great space for doing jigsaw puzzles. If reading isn't your thing, then on longer cruises than this one, Grafton Street is open for craft sessions and for the multi-generational cruises, which is where kids' activities are held. There isn't a casino on board, but there is a card room called Aces and Eights. Next is the partnership area, in which you will find some interesting Essex cricket memorabilia, cruise gifts, a photo gallery, and also some plaques up on display of all the ports that Ambition has visited. If you're in need of some retail therapy, there are some shops on board, but we didn't leave English waters, so these were unfortunately not open, but here's a little peek into them. There are plenty of health and wellbeing options too. The spa rooms on board are included in the price and there are two saunas and a relaxation room which all have floor to ceiling windows looking out to sea. There is a good range of treatments and offers which I'll leave a clip for you in just one second. Within the health and wellbeing area, there is a great sized gym too. There are again floor to ceiling windows for you to look out at the front of the ship and nowhere else on the ship has these great views. There are classes that go on in here and there's plenty of room and equipment. Now moving on to the daily activities and this is what was on offer throughout the day. I decided to take part in the line dancing in the cavern but I set my camera up wrong and unfortunately all you can see is a nice close up of the plant but it was really good fun. It was then time for lunch and we decided to head to the main dining room which was the Holyrood restaurant. You can view the menu on the sheet outside or check it out on the app which I'll talk through in another video. And after lunch, there was a talk with Linda Lusardi where she was being interviewed by her husband. Wow, it's been an action-packed morning already, as you would have seen. I've just come back to my cabin as I'm going to have a little sleep now, um, just before the trivia and the bingo shortly. But I've just come back to my cabin. My room's all been up, done up nicely. And look what I've come back to. One sec. So obviously a nicely done bed. My pajamas have been folded nicely and put on the end of the bed. But Piglet, he's having a whale of a time. Look how comfortable he is. <laughs> That's so cute. So right now I'm gonna have a little nap and the next clip you'll see will be in the cavern with the trivia. See you in a sec. meal for two at Saffron's with a drink included so as I say if you want to enjoy and treat yourself tonight maybe you can do it with your bingo winnings. Hello just come back to my cabin to get ready for this evening so much going on tonight but first you would have seen that we did the theme trivia in the cavern which was a lot of fun it was about different kind of sweets and it was things like so he would say a toothless drink and it would be, the answer would be wine gums. Teddy bears like these, which the answer was picnic. And I, do you know what, I didn't get, I personally didn't get a single one right, but my mum and dad between them got 
7 out of 10s. They did pretty good, but the winners got 9 out of 10. So they won a little pound queen thing for Shop and Charlie with the Ambassador logo on it. We then played bingo and didn't win again. But the prize money was so, so high compared to other cruise lines that I've been on, for example, were maybe like £60 for a full house. And this was £384. I couldn't believe it, especially since there's less than 500 people on the ship at the moment. It's just, it's crazy. But I've come back to my cabin and out on the door, they've given me um, the disembarkation information piece of paper, two sides. What I'm going to do so you can read it yourself is put a picture on the screen now. But I have, or we have decided to go for the express disembarkation, which means that we can take our luggage off ourselves. Because it's formal night tonight and there's quite a few things going on, we're not really gonna have enough time to pack. So it's quite good just to take our luggage off ourselves. We've only got a small bag. It's not a huge suitcase like it normally is. So that'd be a lot easier to take off. So we're gonna do that instead. However, usually we would put our suitcases out the night before. For us, it would have been before midnight and then in the morning the suitcases would be in the terminal ready for you if you're catching the coach then it's different um, but you'll see all of that in the information you've just read so tonight we've got the captain's reception which is at half past six in the palladium which is the theater and that'll be on deck it's actually on deck six and five and they introduce the heads of departments on board and they also give you a welcome drink so if you want a free drink that's a little tip for you after the reception, we'll be heading to the main dining room for dinner again. Something about dinner that I forgot to mention in yesterday's vlog, when I was a bit confused about the times because we'd asked for the first sit-in. So because there are less than 500 people on board, they've put everyone in the same dining room. So it's not split across two and it makes it just easier for everyone to be in the same place for them. But when we booked the cruise, we requested to all be on the same table as we were part of the same party or part of the same booking and they stuck me and my brother on a separate table to my mum and dad and put us with me and my brother with two strangers and my mum and dad with two strangers so when we went into the dining room yesterday we asked them if they could put us on my mum and dad's table and then put the two strangers with the other two strangers it kind of makes sense i don't know why they didn't do that anyway i know requests aren't always met but with such little amount of people on board and if you're putting strangers with strangers anyway why not people why not put people together that actually know each other and in the same party it was a little bit strange but it was sorted out very quickly there was a little bit of confusion we were all sitting together thankfully so tonight is the formal night as i said and this is the night where you get a little bit more dressed up it's expected that men wear suits and ladies wear cocktail dresses i will show you my outfit when i put it on as obviously i'm not ready i'm still in my stuff that i've been wearing all day after dinner, we will be heading to the cavern, which have got an ABBA party. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm not actually an ABBA fan. There's something about ABBA that is just, I think because I see a really bad tribute band once and it just really put me off, I think. But maybe one day I'll slowly get back into it. Once the ABBA party is done in the same place in the cavern, there will be a late night disco. And I'm sure we'll be there till very late again. It says from 11.30 I believe. Let me check. So the late night disco is on from quarter past 11 so that's what time the silent disco um, started yesterday and it finished at quarter past one. So it could be another night like that. I could do with a little bit more sleep but there we go. Obviously I'm going to take you along for it all. Hope you're enjoying this vlog so far because I am really enjoying this cruise. Apart from a little bit of rocking on the ship that we had yesterday, today's been fine so that's been a uh, it's been great maybe it just gets really rocky in the evening i don't know or because we were turning a corner who knows but the seasickness tablets definitely worked anyway i need to stop mumbling and i need to go and shower and get ready so the next time you'll see me i should be looking just a little bit different see you in a second hello so i was looking a little bit different to how i was a 
literally a second ago but i'm going to show you what i'm wearing for tonight's one right like, oh there's the door you can't even see there's some heels time to go to the captain's reception <laughs> Oh, we're just waiting for it to start. They're just giving out some canapes, which is a nice touch. Good afternoon, good afternoon, my ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking from Navigational Bridge. <laughs> as they leave the stage once again, our master, Captain Alexi, his senior officers and heads of department. I skipped the appetizer soup and salad and started with the lemon sorbet. And for mains, I've got the filet mignon. It was then time to head back to the Palladium for the show Love is in the Air, but again for copyright reasons I couldn't record any of it. another great evening as you would have seen we started off the night with the captain's reception you were able to meet the captain before you went in had a picture taken with him and then got a glass of bubbly or they also had non-alcoholic wine i find this is a really good way to have a free drink but i enjoy the whole experience anyway it's really nice that we get introduced to the captain and get introduced to all the heads of the department and the senior officers. After the reception, we headed to the main dining room. Again, it was in the Buckingham restaurant and this was again at 7.30. We did all sit on the same table. We had the same waiters who remembered our drink order from the night before. It's literally been one night and they already remember our drinks orders. It's just incredible. You would have seen what I had to eat. My steak was a little bit chewy, but it was edible. That's the only complaint that I could have for dinner. Apart from that, it was full and you would have seen the baked Alaska parade this is a very traditional cruise event would you call it um and not many cruise lines do it anymore I did ask someone on a previous cruise line one of the staff if they had ever done this or why they don't do it and they hadn't even heard of it so it's definitely a win if you get to do this on your cruise after our very scrummy dinner we headed back to the palladium which is where the captain's reception was to watch the show which was love is in the air and i'm not I wasn't able to show you any footage because of copyright reasons but it was a really great show lots of back-to-back -back love songs great singing great dancing a little bit of like acting storyline in there and it's definitely one to go and see you don't want to miss it once the show was finished we headed over to the cavern and there was the abba party in there now I can't remember if I said this earlier, but I am not the biggest ABBA fan, but I did get up to dance for the two last songs, which were Dancing Queen and 
do you know what? I don't even know the other one. But it was a great atmosphere, great vibes, and it's just a really friendly place to be. Everyone having fun. It's just been amazing. Once the other party was done, it continued to the late night disco. However, this did seem to fade off a little bit. Not as many people dancing. For formal night, I would say that everyone's made a really good effort with the dress code. If you didn't want to dress up for formal night, then the buffet is a place that you would go for dinner. Overall, I would say our day at sea has been really fun. Do you know what? This is the most fun I've ever had on a sea day. Even though I didn't touch the pool or the spa or the gym, which is what I actually planned to do, there were so many activities going on during the day, which is quite rare. And they're all timed very nicely, one after the other. There's so much to do, but you don't feel like you're actually missing out on anything because they're all timed so well. So it's now time for me to pack. It shouldn't take too long as it's been two nights but we need to vacate our rooms by 7.30 in the morning. The time is currently one o'clock in the morning, so I don't have much time to sleep, so I need to get up at about six o'clock to get ready. I think we're gonna head straight to the buffet, grab ourselves a bite to eat there, and have a chilled couple of hours, maybe walking around the ship. But as we're doing the express disembarkation, then we'll be taking our suitcase with us. So, that's it. Thank you for watching this vlog of my day at sea on Ambassador Ambition. I'd really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It lets me know that you're enjoying these vlogs and it keeps the content coming. You can also head over to my Instagram, Travel Life with Lucy, for more content. Stay tuned for the next vlog, which will be of Disembarkation Day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.